The star striker's incredible performances saw him finishing as top scorer in the Premier League as well as the Champions League. However, Messi still beat the Norway international to the prestigious award, even though he now plays in the MLS for Inter Miami. The eight-time Ballon d'Or winner also bested a prestigious list of candidates, including Paris Saint-Germain superstar Kylian Mbappe. Holland City teammates Julian Alvarez, Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri, and Bernardo Silva were also nominated. The list also included Marcelo Brozovic, Kvicha Kvaratskhelia, Victor Osimhen, Arsenal's Declan Rice and Ilkay Gundogan, who played with the 23-year-old at the Etihad last season. And Holland's dad, ex-City ace Alfinga, couldn't hide his frustration after the Argentina international was handed the award. The camera caught the former City ace looking stony-faced with furrowed brow as other attendees applauded the Barcelona legend. And some football fans agree with the ex-lead star's reaction in the capital. One supporter tweeted, feel bad for Holland man. His dad was even p asterisk 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 d. One supporter tweeted, feel bad for Holland man. His dad was even p asterisk 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 d. Another posted, Holland not winning a single award after winning all this has to be one of the biggest robberies in football history. A third said, I'll say it again. Holland should be winning these awards. Messi is a legend but Holland came to a new league, smashed its goal record, and won a treble. This fan wrote, what more does Holland have to do? And that one wondered. If Erling Haaland had won the World Cup with Norway in December 2022 while Messi won the treble, who would have won both the Ballon d'Or and the Best Awards? It wasn't the only controversial moment of the evening, either, after Pep Guardiola accidentally dropped an F-bomb after an awkward grilling from Arsenal legend Thierry Henry.